Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2015 Honda Civic, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness. Now probably the best thing about this wiring is the fact that it's going to be completely hidden and out of the elements whenever you're not using it. However, it's going to be really easy to get to whenever you do need to plug in. All you're going to have to do is open up your trunk, lift up your floor covering, and grab your wiring out of storage. It's gonna give you plenty of length to drop it all the way down. That way you're not gonna have any issues getting it connected to your trailer. Now, the way this works is it simply just drapes over your threshold. One thing you do have to watch out for is you don't wanna get it hung up in this latch, that way it don't get damaged, but anywhere else along the threshold is just fine. So you kinda of pull out the length that you need and simply just close your trunk on it. It's totally acceptable and is not going to hurt the wiring. So the job of the wiring is to provide your trailer with the necessary lighting functions, not only to remain safe, but legal as well. And if you happen to have a light up accessory, say a smaller cargo carrier, something like that, this will also power it up. It does come included with a nice thick rubber dust cap, and that's gonna do a good job of keeping out any moisture, or dirt and debris. That way your terminals here won't get damaged. However, I do recommend from time to time just to go a step further and apply some dielectric grease and that'll really keep them in good shape for years to come. Something really nice about this setup as well is the fact that it uses a module box. What that module box is gonna do is protect your Civic's factory wiring if a short, or an electrical issue were to occur on the trailer side. And for me, that gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that my Honda's sensitive electronics will be protected. So at the end of the day, this could be a great way to keep you safe whenever you're doing some light duty towing or keep you visible whenever you use those light up accessories. But with that being said, as far as the installation goes, believe it or not, it's really straightforward. It's pretty much all plug and play. So really not a whole lot to it shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that together now. To begin our install, we're gonna be working here at the back of our Civic and we're gonna to need to get into the trunk. So we'll open that up. And what we're gonna to need to do is remove the floor covering. So this just simply lifts up, pull it out and set it off to the side. And then we're able to remove this center threshold here. So the way this works, you grab the bottom of it and kind of just pull towards the front of the vehicle and up at the same time. It will release these clips. Once we have it off, we can just set it to the side for now. Now we need to access the back of our tail lights. So that means we need to remove this carpeting. So there's three pushpin fasteners along the edge. And the way to get these out, you can use a trim tool or a flathead screwdriver. You pry underneath the head and then the base and it'll pop out. The other one's here. Do that same thing. And finally down here towards the bottom. Now once we have that out, we can kind of grab our carpeting and push it down out of the way. Then I'm simply just going to repeat the same process over on the other side. Now we can do over here on the driver's side is disconnect both of our taillight plugs. So pretty straightforward. You see this little tab here in the center of the connector, you push that down and pull it out. Same deal for this one here. Once we have those disconnected, we can grab our new wiring harness. We're gonna take the T connector ends that have the white and yellow wire as well as the end that has the white, red, and brown. So these are simply just gonna tee right in. So this one here is gonna plug directly into the tail light. The other side of our T connector is where we're gonna plug in our factory connector. Just like that. And same thing for our yellow and white. So one side will go right into the tail light. The other side will just get plugged into 
the factory connector there. Now we can hook up our ground wire, which is this white wire with the pre-attached ring terminal. Turns out just below the driver's side tail light, we actually have a factory ground here that we can utilize. So what I'm going to do is remove that bolt there using a 10 millimeter socket. Pull that bolt out, slide it through our ring terminal, back through all of our factory grounds, and then simply just re-secure it. So now we can take our other T connector, it's going to be the one with the green wire, and we can just bring it over here to the passenger side. This is going to get plugged into the tail light as well. Except this time we only need to undo one. The one that we're going to need to disconnect is this one right here. Let's get some plugs the same way as the other side. Let's push down on that tab. T connector will get installed there, and the other end will get connected to the other side. Now, before we clean up our wiring and put everything back together, it's a good idea to test it to make sure it's functioning properly. I'm using a little tester that you can pick up here at E-Trailer. We'll go ahead and try our left turn, our right turn, our brakes, and our running lights. So now that we verified the wiring is working, I went ahead and just used a couple of zip ties to secure our box to this factory wiring. And then I just secured our green wire that we ran over to the passenger side the same way. Just followed this factory wire loom and every now and again secured it using a zip tie. Now we can do, you want to make sure you take your four pole wiring and just set that here in the center for now. We're going to take our panel and reassemble it. So this will just go back the same way, line everything up and reinstall your push pin fasteners. So I have this done, and do the same thing over there on the other side. And now we can just take our threshold here and just pop that back into place. And if you don't plan on using your wiring right away, you can just bundle it up and store it down here out of sight and put back in your floor covering. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness on our 2015 Honda Civic.